Tak, dobrý den a vítejte na třetí videu a o Limerickách. A tak, anglicky. My Czech is not really up to having a conversation. I am not able to improvise well enough. I can write limericks in Czech. So that should tell you that you can probably write one in English if you have some of the basics. It doesn't matter if your conversation is not up to a level. You don't need that much. Okay, but here we have one of my Czech limericks that went wrong. What went wrong was this word. I misunderstood the meaning of that. So I was really trying to say that um, the toddler, we would call a battle, was like kind of a little monster. Uh, so he would succeed to get the book off the table, even though he's down there. And, I found the word hoverdle and it looked like it meant monster in that way to me. So I made this. I read this to my wife and uh, she said, no, it just doesn't work. Uh, this has some different meaning and she explained it to me a bit. So now I have a Czech limerick that doesn't really work. However, I now have quite a good sense of the meaning of the word hovado. And I've certainly remembered battle from this. Uh, if I ever forget, I just remember the poem and I remember that it rhymes with nastole and somehow it comes back. Oh, battle. So, so that's how that works. What this tells us is that if you're writing your own limericks, it is good to have some feedback from a native speaker and if you do write some I'll be really happy if you're coming for a lesson one day and we can look through them and I'll try to give you some feedback so good luck I hope you do have a go and thanks for watching